I had to throw in my beanie because a lot of the times I just feel like beanie just makes everything look better, you know? And my hair has actually been growing quite a bit. Um, I've kind of just been deciding to leave the top a little bit longer. And yeah, just playing around with my hair a little bit, but I kind of like it right now. I've been getting a haircut bi-weekly and uh, I still wear my beanie because honestly, June has been a shitty month here in Montreal because it hasn't been that warm. It's been actually pretty cold, to be honest. I mean, we've been hovering between 15 degrees and 20 degrees, maybe 25. So yeah, but anyway, welcome back to a uh, Sunday vlog. I think this is gonna be a Sunday vlog. Honestly, it is Wednesday midnight. I think it's almost midnight. I just finished my last meal. It was just a quick Greek yogurt. And uh, yeah, I've been editing all night because there is a video that I released. I guess it will be up by the time I'm doing this. But basically, it was um, a styling video with uh, the From the First and Sanja's uh, new boot collection, which I was kind of excited about and I was lucky enough to get a pair. And uh, I did that video just kind of showcasing you guys some of the ways that I tend to style my boots, which you guys can also see on Instagram because that's pretty much all I wear, right? Like boots or derbies. But yeah, make sure to check that video out uh, whenever you get a minute, you know. Uh, but yeah, otherwise it was a really good week, man. I've just been on a roll with YouTube again. I feel like uh, YouTube has been quite tough for me in terms of just finding exactly where I want to take it because when I first came onto this platform my objective was really to just diversify not just give you guys like fashion content because I, I always felt like that could be quite repetitive and I think I've mentioned it here before and now I'm kind of finding that flow again where I'm just enjoying creating man I'm just enjoying creating and just you know chatting with you guys like I see you guys in the comments you've definitely been um out there just like you know giving your inputs and just commenting on my videos and i really appreciate it but it's been i find this to be way more authentic for me you know i find it to have a good balance too where we can kind of just talk about anything you know it doesn't have to always be clothes because a lot of the times i look at my analytics right and i find that you know i have quite a young demographic so I'm always careful as to what message do I want to put out there, right? Like what do I want to actually talk about that hopefully can help someone view life in a certain light and maybe even inspire them to kind of um, maybe do what I'm doing in terms of fashion and social media and whatnot. Because I do find that like today we have a lot of people that do want to create, that do want to make this like a full-time job. And to not get it twisted, guys, I work a nine to five. This is sort of like a side hustle. I made a video about that. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a card up here. But, um, and I've kind of enjoyed it that way because my job is quite aligned with what I do outside of my job. Because one thing that I told myself when I got out of university was, you know, so I studied economics. So one thing that I told myself when I got out of university was I have to do something that wakes me up every morning um, feeling maybe not always excited, but at least feeling purposeful. That was extremely, extremely important to me. So um, once I was done uni, like I worked for a bank for a little bit and then eventually because I had been working retail and whatnot, um, I decided to go ahead and follow my passion, which was fashion. It was really between fashion and becoming like a personal trainer. So I chose fashion, which was a good uh, choice. And actually right now, over the next couple of years, I'm also looking into hopefully doing some personal training at some point because I do love training and whatnot. You guys always see it on uh, my Instagram stories. But uh, but yeah, um, so so like I was saying, I'm, I'm just always trying to be careful and trying to be, you know, I, I question myself a lot with regards to what do I want to put out there on this sort of like on these social media platforms and how do I want to inspire myself and anybody that may need that anybody that may feel aligned with what i talk about what i'm into so one of the biggest things that i did this year was stop obsessing so much over analytics and over metrics which anybody that does social media and whatnot can stress about that quite a bit like what am, why am i not growing or why aren't my videos being viewed but i realized you know what man 
at the end of the day, I'm just happy to be doing things that I enjoy doing, right? So, you know, I get to create, I get to do a job that's quite aligned with what I love, right? And I shouldn't be complaining. I should just put out, put, put out good content, be transparent, be authentic, and what's meant to be will be. So that's kind of been my approach this year, and it's honestly worked amazingly. It's worked great. I've seen more growth this year than I did past years because I've just been so nonchalant with it. I've just been so consistent within my message, but also um, just doing me, just doing me and just enjoying that process of grinding and of going after things you want to do. So, so yeah, like even right now, like, it's been so inspiring for me to just pick up the camera and just start chatting with you guys. And I'm like, look, I don't know where this vlog is going, but we're gonna do it up. We're just gonna shoot some stuff and edit and see how it turns out, you know? So that's been more inspiring for me. And actually that's kind of what I watch on YouTube. I really, I rarely watch fashion content all that much. Like I watch a few guys here and there, but most of the time I'm just kind of looking for things that help improve my life. So anyway, I'm gonna continue editing. Maybe I'll show you guys actually my editing flow right now um, as part of this blog because I'm working on my Thursday video right now. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys that and then I'm gonna hit the bed. I've been really, I've been sleeping really late lately, like around 1 a.m., which, and then I wake up around 7, 7.30 and it hasn't been helping me in the mornings because then it takes me a while to get going. So I'm trying to change that a little bit. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys my editing flow. In terms of editing, I have a pretty easy ongoing flow. So um, lately I've been enjoying editing uh, in the evenings, but I do try to edit a little bit in the morning, especially before work, because um, I just don't like to be on the computer for too long in the evening. I know that a lot of people that do like video content prefer editing in the evening as well, but I noticed that like it would affect my sleep quite a lot. So I've been trying to edit a bit more in the, in the morning, especially right now because I've been so inspired to create. So I've been really trying to wake up early, even though I've been sleeping quite late. So anyway, um, I edit on Final Cut Pro. That's been the video editing app that I've been using for the last couple of years, ever since I started YouTube. That's kind of what I decided to go with. And the editing is very simple. Honestly, mostly what I do is just simple cuts, right? So we have a laptop, it's a MacBook Pro 13 inch uh, from 2020. I did have to get a new laptop a year after I really got into YouTube because the old one I had had it for about nine years. So I wanted to switch just so my editing could be faster and a lot better and it helped extremely. So um, other than that, I have the, I have a, a Samsung T5 for my hard drive. That's what I use for, um, to store all of my uh, video content. And I actually edit through there instead of uh, editing through my MacBook um, because then it just takes too much space. So I always, always have my hard drive plugged in and that's where I edit through. Um, other than that, um, I usually like my lights to be a little bit dimmed and just like, you know, um, edit for about an hour or two hours. This light I got it off Amazon. Um, I'll leave a link for those of you guys that are interested. I actually got it off uh, this other Instagram influencer, Carlos. Uh, his name is Carlos Jr. Carlos Jr. I think um, and uh, I saw I saw he had one and I was like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and purchase that because the old one that I had the light wasn't great for editing so this one has been perfect because I can dim it up and down whatever sort of um, light exposure that I want this seems to do that and I've been pretty happy with it so far so yeah that's about it in terms of editing oh and I use these these are these AirPod uh, AirPod Max Pro are absolutely amazing for editing. They, they block out the noise. Very, very good pair of headphones. If you guys are looking for a new pair of headphones, I would highly suggest them. I take them to the gym. I definitely shouldn't because the cushion, the problem with taking these to the gym is that the cushion here tends to smell. So you have to wash them consistently. So as soon as you're done with the gym, if you sweat, you have to wash these. Otherwise they just don't smell good. So I've been trying to wash them as much as possible and I'm actually picking up a new extra pair for um, just to edit with and then I'll keep these ones for the gym. But honestly, it will be much better if you don't take them to the gym because I'm in focus, yeah. 
it'll be much better if you don't take them to the gym because uh, once you do, you're never gonna go back. Okay, so turn on light. Okay. What's up guys? So um, just having lunch right now, a uh, second meal that so just showed you guys. Um, I'm making a quick Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt has been really good for me like to have as an in-between um, snack, if you would call it, in between my meals. So um, right now it's about, it's around 2 p.m. I'm just taking a quick break from work and then I'll have this yogurt and keep working. I was actually watching an interesting um, sort of like podcast or discussion between uh, Simeone Panda and uh, Mike Rashid. Uh, I don't tend to check his videos out that often, but whenever I do, they were having a, pr a pretty good discussion about why black people are so aggressive and, you know, depending on how you grew up and where you grew up. And I felt like it was kind of very aligned with um, how I grew up and, and coming from Burundi to here. So I was just checking it out. I'm going to finish it later, but I'm going to have some food and then um, keep working. Uh, I have a shoulder day today, so I'm excited about that because it's gonna be an easy one. It's gonna be pretty chilled. And yeah, very casual Wednesday actually. It's been raining all morning. To be honest, like I was telling you guys last night, um, it's the weather here has been brutal this June. It hasn't been warm all that much. It's been raining a lot. And uh, I mean, I'm not complaining. I do like when it's not too hot because then I get to kind of wear my hoodies and layer a little bit. So, so yeah, um, let me know what you guys thought about the um, video on, on uh, Thursday and if any of you guys are gonna be picking those boots up I'm gonna be wearing them out on Friday for dinner So I'll let you guys know what the comfort is like after a few hours of wear So we are heading out for a workout. It is Friday and it's actually a holiday here in Montreal today. So uh, I'm off work, so I'm gonna go hit a quick workout. I'm actually heading out to an outdoor place, which I haven't been in quite a while. It's about a 15 minute walk away from here. And I'm excited because I haven't trained outdoors in quite a long time. It's a beautiful day today. It's about 25 degrees, so it feels good to finally get some sun. But anyway, um, it's actually a holiday today. It's called the Saint Jean Baptiste holiday here in Montreal. So everyone is pretty much off. I actually have a pool party later this afternoon. But yeah, we're gonna go hit this quick workout with my boy. 
He's just getting here right now and I'll try to record some footage for you guys so you guys can see the spot. But yeah, let's head out and I'll check in with you guys later. Crown of Thorns. Tu as déjà vu no. like son truc de genre là, tu vois Jésus comment il genre like Oh yeah 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 yeah. Yeah so yeah. What he did, what he did is that he has one that like he iced out. Holy shit. So it's a Crown of Thorns with a whole bunch of diamonds and it's iced out. And it's fucking iced out. <laughs> oh shit! No, I, I saw I saw a bit of the uh, the Louis Vuitton drill, but I wasn't I, like I was just seeing snippets on uh, on IG, and then I was like, oh shit, this looks crazy. No, but then I didn't I didn't see the fits though. I didn't see the actual collection. Because because I'm still stuck at that that crown of thorns. Because yeah, remember. I but it's not it's it's his own it's his own uh, style, right? It yeah, wasn't no, from like Louis no, Vuitton no, no, itself. It's his own, like it's on his uh, like um, even on his album cover. Like he's wearing it, right? But me, oh, I thought okay. It's just like a random crown of thorns, like a something on bois. And then whatever. you realize it's actually like, that shit is iced out. <laughs> it's iced out. Yo, no, I won't lie. Like I feel like Kendrick Kendrick style has been I've on another level lately. I think he's sick, man, because you don't expect that. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's unexpected. Like a chain or some like stupid shit. But exactly. No. It was like it was it's a crown. A crown. Of thorns. <laughs> it was crazy. But yeah, no, uh, guys, we're talking about the Louis Vuitton show right now. And uh, I've been watching, I caught a couple shows. I caught the Rick Owens show and a little bit of glimpse of the uh, head mainer and Louis Vuitton as well looked pretty good. But uh, yeah, I need to actually sit down and see the fits because I haven't really looked into that. So we just got done with the workout. How'd you find it? It's good, man. It's a nice switch yeah. up from the regular gym. From the regular gym, yeah. Yeah, I felt the same way too. I feel like every now and then training differently does kind of help. Um, also, you kind of see what your body is uh, capable of doing and not. Like what it needs. What it needs to. Lots of stretching. Yeah. Yeah. We have like a lot of injuries. Like I have a groin injury right now. So when I was doing like the box jumps, uh, it felt pretty tough. And uh, you, you've been dealing with what? I have like, like my shoulder. Like shoulder, yeah. With. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's like a little like tightness. Yeah. And this muscle called cor coracoid brachialis, just underneath like your bicep. Yeah. It comes from your shoulder. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't know anything about this. Like it's just like the massage therapist. Yeah. At the sports. Um, I told you about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, um, that's pretty much it. So we're done. It was quick. It was about 45 minutes. And uh, it's nice to see everyone training and just exercising. Uh, but yeah, uh, feeling good right now. So we're going to head out. And